I guess we go in through here. You gotta be kidding me! No way! That is not fair! That is absolutely not fair. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and probably do some more quests before we get started, though. I have a couple things I want to address. First of all, um, I recorded episodes one and two back to back, uh, so I did not see anybody's comments from episode one on episode two, so be aware of that. Uh, I apologize for the low quality of episode one when it came out. Uh, that is entirely YouTube's fault, not my own. Uh, sometimes it just takes YouTube a, month, a long time to process the quality of the videos. So, uh, but I did want to get it out uh, because I was a little bit late getting it out because of work uh, reasons. And um, so, yeah, sorry, sorry about the quality, but sometimes that happens and it's pretty much out of my control. The only other option is that I wait uh, until the video is completely processed before I release it. But then that means you guys don't get it for even longer. So I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see how it goes. I'll try and keep an eye on it and hopefully YouTube will process them a little more quickly. Uh, the other thing that you guys all pointed out in the video is that I'm actually was making the wrong thing here. Um, I need to be making, uh, I'm not actually sure what I need to be making. Let's, um, uh, I think I need to make frame shapes. But this says frame shapes too, but there was something I was making, I was making some, the, like wood shapes. Yeah, I think I was making wood shapes and these you can't pick up and I think it's frame shapes that I'm supposed to make. So what are these? These are frames, variable shape helper, something or other. Um, let me make one of these. Does that stack? Okay, so that does stack with this. What about wood shapes? Is that something different? Okay, that's different. So, concrete cobble shapes, frame shapes. So these are supposed to be frame shapes. Let's, that's what I I had though. So if I put a frame shape down, I can pick it back up. Okay, okay. So what I was doing, uh, must have been doing in uh, the first two episodes, is I must have been using wood shapes and not frame shapes, because that I can't pick up. Okay, I think that's what the deal is. Now, if I change these, if I go into uh, press and hold R and go into this menu and make them actual frames, I can still pick them up. Okay, so yeah, that was just something, I mean, I didn't realize at the time, of course, that they were different. So there's wood shapes and there's frame shapes, and it's the frame shapes that you want uh, in order to, to put something down and then pick it back up. All right, now we got that cleared up. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. What are we going to do today? We are going to... Uh, we need a cooking pot, actually. Yeah, that's what we need. We need a cooking pot. Uh, so let's put stuff in here. And nothing's actually in there yet. I think we want to keep everything else with us. We need to find some water to fill these jars up. Uh, we're not in really bad shape on food and water at the moment and i mean worst case scenario i can make some grilled meat if i absolutely have to uh, not that grilled meat's that bad really but i'd rather make bacon and eggs so let's go ahead and head on out and we got a trade request to do as well and see if we can find ourselves a cooking pot i'm almost uh, I, well i would like to find the cooking pot even first but um maybe what we'll do is we'll po poke our head in a couple of places uh, kitchen, you know, types of places to see if we can find that cooking pot. Um, but we only have a half a day left before nighttime, too. So, I don't know. Maybe we should... Let's go do the quest. And if we don't find a cooking pot at the quest location, then we'll come back and just uh, look for the cooking pot directly. Okay, so let's head on over that way. He dropped the bag. Nice. Very nice. Let's put this uh, back down here. We had to drink our other one. Not that it did us any good, ultimately, but this one might actually save our ass this time. Yeah. 
He's deadly fast. Gotta be careful of that, dude. Alright, we got ourselves an infection, which kind of sucks. Uh, no, it doesn't kind of suck, it does suck. And an abrasion, too. I missed a, a hit. Uh, let's see if we can get some honey out of here. I think they said in the dev streams that they were going to reduce the amount of honey you could get out of stumps, which kind of sucks. And yeah, we didn't get any honey. Uh, any honey. Okay, not good. I don't know if we have any honey back in our base or not. Um... I think I'm going to take this now to reduce the abrasion uh, and to heal up. And we're just going to put these down here for now. And hopefully we can find some honey before our infection gets to 5%. Um, just seeing if there's any more stumps in the area. Here's some nitrate and iron together. Wow, this would make a nice mine. Let's, uh, let's actually mark this. Uh, no, not a quick point. Uh, we're going to mark this as iron nitrate. Okay, we'll worry about that later, though. Okay, well, let's uh, let's work on our quest here. And uh, hopefully we'll luck out and find some honey. I don't know if I have some back at the base or not. I can't remember if I do. Oh, by the way, uh, the rules for this playthrough are that I'm not going to do, I'm not going to double loot the end loot. Um, you know, checking this truck and then checking it again after I start the quest, I'm not worried about that. But I'm, I'm not going to double loot the end loot um, just because I think that's a little cheesy. Uh, here, look at that, man. This will, 10% um, chance to cause a bleeding wound on a regular attack. Plus, it'll increase the uh, damage of the knife anyways. Okay. Let's check in here again. Okay, I'll take both of those things. Can we put this on our... Uh, on here? Sure can. That'll make it a little bit stronger. We need to repair this too. Okay, what is this? This is a retrieve quest. All right. Not liking the fact that we're in an open area here. Okay, we can deal with this guy as long as we don't wake anybody else up in the process. There is a sleeper right there, so yeah, this isn't the best scenario. I think I might hear somebody outside, too. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got rid of her. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get a sneaky sneak off on... Baldy here. And then we'll take him and fight him out around here. Oh, shit. Oh, he fell down. Here, take a knife wound. Oh, he's dead. Wow. I, 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 I know I keep saying this, you guys, but I can't believe how easy... Well, relatively speaking, how easy it is to kill these zombies now. Relatively speaking. And I did double check, and I did start this game on insane difficulty, so... I <laughs> uh, don't think I'm going to take any of that, just because we need to conserve space. 
All right. How much you want to bet there's somebody up there, but we should actually get our satchel first. So let's go. They've changed the sound of doors and stuff opening. It's pretty cool. Okay, we got another baldy there. So let's pop him. Then we'll close the door and put a frame in front of it. Let's make sure we're loaded first. Ah, oh, shit. All right. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Sounds like we got somebody running from outside to come in here, too. So let's close that door. So we don't have to... All right. We don't have to worry about someone coming from the outside immediately. Let's put another frame up there to hold the one up that we have. And we're going to have to range this guy. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. We're good. So far. We're good so far. Um, Let's check the dumpster. <laughs> okay, we'll take that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's get a bleed on you. I'm gonna bleed on you, too. I gotta kind of be careful that they don't swing when I come up here. We got that. All right. Whew. Was that other zo Zombo already in here? Oh, he must have broke through the wall here. That's not a very strong wall. Note to self for future reference. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this because we need the healing. And we've got a red tea and a yucca that we're going to just take right now to counter the thirst uh problem and how about some mineral water look at that not just some mineral water but two mineral waters that's what i'm talking about okay we'll take some more m yo nishin um satchel where's the satchel it's right there is this another room or just a yard i think it's just a yard loving these new pois man I mean, the gameplay is more or less the same as it's always been, but it just makes it a, a lot more, inter, you know, entertaining or fun when we have new places to do it in, you know? Okay, let's run up here. I'll bet you the fat loots are... Oh, shit. Did he mess us up any more than we already are? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. We got another Zeke. And it, it's the fast guy. He's the one that infected us in the first place. Let's soften him up a little bit anyway. Did that pill not heal us? Do they not heal anymore? What's up with the crawling thing that they do? Okay, he did. I don't know, man. All right, let's check in here. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. And then let's head over here. There's almost certainly going to be some Zeeks up here, but hopefully we can uh, get some fat loots too, because there wasn't any fat loots in that room. Little, oh, shit. Little parkour. Ooh, can I make that jump? Uh, I don't know if I want to attempt to because... If we don't make it, we're going to break our leg, probably. We're already kind of hurt a little bit. I can't... Um, oh. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. Okay, you know that thing's going to collapse when we jump on it. Okay. 
Man, I hope there aren't any zombies up here. This is not going to go well for us. Just is not. Go throw throw that out there. Look at this little parkour thing. This is really cool. Ugh. I guess one thing we could do if we if zombies do come is we could run across this and have it collapse. And maybe that'll save us. Maybe. Okay. That door's locked. Let's go around here. Oh, shit. Okay. That didn't kill you? What the hell? How in the hell did that not kill you? Wow, look at that. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. There's the fat loots. Any zombadoodles in here? Okay. Um, I guess we go in through here. You gotta be kidding me! No way! That is not fair! That is absolutely not fair. Okay. Well, let's just let him fall down to the ground. <laughs> this is a tier one POI? What the hell, man? Okay, come on, guys. Come come down like your friend did, please. Come get me. Okay, I guess we can move back this way. Can we yeah, we can't really do that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these back here. Whoops. Keep hitting the escape key and it's messing me up. That's a little bit of a jump. So I don't know why I keep doing that. It's a muscle memory thing from probably from playing Satisfactory. We're three and a half points infected. That is not good. But we've come this far. We gotta get that fat loots up there. Yeah, see, I keep hitting escape and uh, it's pausing the game. I want to try and get them to come down here. What the hell are you guys doing? Get some bleeds on him. There we go. Okay. Drop on down, buddy. <laughs> Okay, so we just have the janitor guy left now. Let's see if we can lure him down here. Sounds like he's being stupid again. Oh, nice hit. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, we finally got him. Oh, no, we didn't. Gosh, dang it. I can't believe it. This game is... Oh, shit. I'm stuck. This game is not fair. All right. Are you going to be dumb and stay at the door? 
Um, okay. Then here, let's, uh... So nice to have pick pick upable frames to use. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I have no way to heal myself. Let's uh, get rid of a couple things. We don't need that. Uh, we're going to get rid of the sand. We're going to scrap this. Um, let's scrap that. Put that down there. And help him break this since he's not coming around the easy way. Can I get your head? No. Put your head through again. He's not doing it. Oh, <laughs> off with his head. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. All right. Are we done now? Can I loot this place? Are you guys okay with that? Good Lord. Okay. Let's loot. Then we'll figure out how we're going to get that, get out of here. Uh, oh, we need that. Yes, we do indeed. That was a very uh, welcome find. And look at that. Nice uh, upgraded bone knife, too. Um, let's um, take the mod off of here. Scrap this. And then use the bones to repair this. And then put the mod on it. And we can put a second mod on there, too, if we come across one. All right, great. So let's see here. We are... Uh, I think we're good to go. Okay. Come on, please give me some antibiotics. That was not antibiotics. All right, let's see what's in the cracker book. This is a pretty tough POI for a Tier 1. My goodness. Uh, I'll take that. And we'll sell this. Okay, we know how to make a forge now. Look at that. It's awesome. We are in cupboard. Is there anything else? Working stiff coffee maker. Iron desk. Oh, very nice. All right, we'll take that too. So it was it was worth it uh, to come up here. But man, what a fight, huh? Okay, we are a bit encumbered. So we're going to have to do something about that. Uh, I think we ditched this because it's just easy to get. And I think that we don't really want to ditch anything else. I guess we could ditch the iron. And is there one more thing we could get rid of? Oh, I know what. We can put this down here. And we're good. Okay, we just can't pick anything else up. Okay, our infection is just about at 5%. Uh, can we spot any stumps from up here? I'm not really seeing any. Okay. So let's jump up here. Whoops. If we end up having to fight this guy, I at least want to soften him up a little bit. What are you gonna do, man? Okay, he softened up. If we can just get away from him, that'd be the best case scenario. Or actually killing him would be the best case scenario. All right. Let's book it back to the trader, do our turn in. Um, And, yeah, infection's now a bigger problem because we're over 5%. So, yeah, there you go. Maybe the trader has a couple honeys for sale. Maybe I have some back at the base. I just don't remember. Um, but the thing that's not good right at the moment is our stamina cap is down. Can we f help that by doing this? I don't think so. I think it's because we're infected that the stamina cap is down. We might have to just make some grilled meat, which we can do for tonight. And we'll have to look for a cooking pot in manana.
Is there honey in these things? Okay. Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe there is, but there isn't in that particular one. Great weather. Thank you, survivor. My okay. Wood splitter mod would be good. 10% extra damage to knock down and stun opponents. You know, I was using um, Brawling on the multiplayer server, and I was actually really enjoying it. So we might actually try it in this series, too. Probably not right now, but maybe later on. All right, let's take a... Well, yeah, let's take another job from you. We'll do... Uh, this is the closest one. I'm in a bit of a so we'll take that. But I want to see if you have any uh, medical stuff or honey. You don't. Maybe okay. Next time. Let's go back home and see if we have any honey. I mean, we need two th things of honey now, but even if we can take one, we can slow things down a bit on the infection. There's a rabbit. Very hard to find them once they go in the bushes. There he is. Oh, I hit the frickin' sign. Can you believe that? Okay, we got him. Having this rifle makes uh, hunting rabbits and chickens a lot easier. That's for sure. Okay, let's head on in here. I got all the stuff out of there. Yeah, I did that off camera. Okay, do we have any honey in here? Uh, we do not, and we don't have any antibiotics. So yeah, we might be in trouble, guys. We might... I was going to sell that to the trader. We might actually be in trouble here. Let's put that away. Put everything away. We don't need to take with us right at the moment. I uh, still need to find some water. Okay. How much time do we have? Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Or, no, not 10 o'clock. It's almost 8 o'clock. So, let's just... I don't know what the hell we're going to do about our infection. But I want to try and find a cooking pot. So let's see if we can do that with the remaining daylight. Oh, there's an egger. Okay. Whoops. All right. Let's kill Egger. Honey. Okay, he did. Really? Is there honey in here? That's water. Oh, come on. You said honey. What the hell, man? False advertisement. I'm going to report you to the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Better Business Bureau? Chamber of Commerce? <laughs> you said you had honey. How disappointing. All right, let's see if we can pop into the kitchen of this place and look for a cooking pot. There's leather in here, too, that we can get later. All right. No kitchen there. Let's go over to this side of the house. Doors unlocked. Really stuttery.
Okay. Oh my goodness. Darlene. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Sneak attack. No. What? I keep hitting the freaking door. There we go. That was a sneak attack. Oh, shit. Ow! Darlene, leave me alone. Die, please. Please die. Please die. Oh, shit. Whew. Man. We are cutting it close, you guys. Having, not having that extra stamina cap is just killing me, literally. <sighs> All right. Let's go back in. I don't have anything to heal with, unfortunately. But we need to find a cooking pot. We really need to find a cooking pot. I don't know where the kitchen is in this place. That's a bedroom, it looks like. So what's behind here? A kitchen and a couple of nasties. Oh, the door is open back there. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take these yahoos out. How did that not wake up that other zombie? just so funny when their heads just pop off like that. Okay. Where'd she go? She ran into there. She's attacking that door? Lady. Yep, that's exactly what she's doing. All right, let's go. Can we go around here? Yeah, there's a fence there. Okay. Let's keep that door closed. I guess if she's insisting on going through there, what we're going to do is get rid of this. And block that door. Let's block that one too, just in case... Yeah, there is a sleeper in there. Very hungry, stamina, maximum stamina reduced. Yeah, I know, we're in bad shape. What is that zombie? Oh, that was a, just a corpse. All right, we got zombies on all sides. Nice. He's dead. Now, um, one at a time. You're closer to getting out than you are. Let's deal with you first. All right, come on, Steve. Break the door. Oh, we got three zombies to deal with. All right. That's what I like to see. You're the biggest threat, so you gotta go first. Okay, he did. Uh, let's repair that, and I guess we'll deal with you next. Oh, out of stamina. Let's uh, let's drink this to help with the stamina anyway. Okay, come here, dummy. Over here, over here. There you go. Come over here. Hmm. Not so sure that they've made the AI pathing of these zombies better than... <laughs> 19, they're still pretty stupid. Oh. 
He came over here as soon as I said he didn't appreciate being called stupid. Okay, he did. All right. Just uh, jiggly here. Let's help her out. She did. Okay. Whew. Man, oh man. What kind of shenanigans we got going on in here? That guy felt there's a lot of falling through the the roof stuff going on in Alpha 20 I'm noticing. A lot of falling through the roof shenanigans. Pick that up. Uh this needs to be repaired. All right, let's check in here. Main goal is to get to that kitchen so we can find ourselves a cooking pot. Uh, sure. We'll learn that. And uh, I think that's about all we can do in here. Pick that up. Okay, come on, cooking pot. That's not a cooking pot. That's not a cooking pot. That's not a cooking pot. Where in the hell are all the cooking pots in this game? Sounds like a feral sense Zeke has sensed us. Okay, well, uh, did we check the toilet? We didn't. Possibility of toilet pistol. We're already in this room, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's um scooch back to our house. That is like so wrong that the game says honey right there and there's there was no honey in there. Just not right. Just not right. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to Take and put a torch down so we can all see a little bit better. Uh, where do we want to stick this thing? This right there is good enough for now. And we're going to have to cook up some meat because uh, I don't have anything else that I can do with it. And grilled meat's not too bad. We can actually do that. Uh, let's see. We got some peas. And we have beverage so we don't have to worry about hydration let's put the coffee well i kind of rather have the beer because the beer also prevents us from getting stunned uh, so we'll put that there we're going to scrap these that's for selling to trader joel that's still for us to find um a thing uh, or find some water rather my brain's not working as usual and yeah all right guys well i think we're um kind of at a stopping point and in a bit of a pickle mostly because we don't have anything to, to help our infection so what is today today's day two do we have any points to spend we have oh we have two points to spend look at that all right so what i think i'm gonna do is do, 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 do. what should we do what should we do you know if we get if we actually spec into brawling once we get the steel spikes then we get the bleed effect back but hmm, i don't know that seems kind of risky to try and do right now seems a little bit risky i think i would like some more sexy tea and in order to get that we're going to need strength level three what is strength level 3 itself going to give us? Deal 220% headshot damage and 50% greater chance of dismember with shotguns, clubs, sledgehammers, and tools covered by 69er. Okay, we could make ourselves a pipe shotgun. I think we should focus on strength for a bit, so let's do that. Okay, so our next point is going to go into sexy T and then maybe into boomstick. Do I have everything I need to make a pipe shotgun? Let's take a look at that. We need four pipes, two glues, and six wood. One, two, three, four pipes, 
two glues and six wood, which we already have in our inventory. Let's craft ourselves a pipe shotgun. I should have a little bit of shotgun ammo, uh, which we do. Uh, that's a good thing. All right, are you done? Can I also make a baked potato? Look at that. All right. Let's make a baked potato, too. Uh, we could probably make some goldenrod tea with this. Uh, no, not without a cooking pot. Okay, so yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay, let's eat. All right, you guys. Well, I think um, it's about time for us to wrap things up for this recording. We're... Uh, we're kind of in trouble, mostly because of the infection. If it wasn't for that, we'd actually be doing reasonably well. But uh, unfortunately, it's a thing, right? So uh, we'll just keep on keeping on until we can either cure it or until we succumb. Um, I'm not going to just lay down and die. And so, yeah, that's it. I think I'm just going to hang out at the house for the night. Oh, we did get all of our stamina back. That's good, actually. Um but stamina is going to start becoming a problem, you know, as the infection gets worse. But anyway, um, I'm probably just going to hang out in the house for the night. I might even maybe try and get a mine started or something. And then uh, when morning comes, we will start uh, episode four. Uh, we have a quest to do and just keep on looking for a cooking pot and hopefully some way to cure this nasty infection. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.